back. This is still the big talk with yet another video. Spicy, your heart, like new and G. So um, this is still the big talk, as I said. Um, yep. To my returning subscribers, welcome back and welcome to yet another video. To my um, new subscribers, hey hey hey, what to do? What to do? Um, sorry. Um, don't forget to like, comment, smash the notification button. And subscribe, guys. Um, let's um, also a uh, fairly advice that let's try to equalize the views to the number of um, subscriptions. And yes, um, to more subscribers, to like infinite subscribers, we are going to rock this um, November. Uh, so be sure to look out for more videos. Do not waste your data on um, other things, but waste your data on me. Without further ado, let's get down to it. So, guys, because you know that um, on this platform, we talk about anything and everyone and everybody. So, today we're going to talk about men and their struggles and how they can overcome the struggles. Okay. Um, first and foremost, um, I want to tackle the fact that... Um, as much as the human, the Freedom Charter and all of these, um, the Commission, what, what, and all of these books that are out there for us to guide us and protect each and every human being out there, um, we need to live an equal life. As much as women um, uh, expect to be given gifts or expect something to be given to them by men in return of something or not in return or just as a gesture of... Um, a kind gesture or whatever um we also need to adhere to the men to what men also feel um there's this term that says um men don't cry but they actually do so um today we're just going to tackle about tackle um how men actually suffer or how men actually are disadvantaged with what people or men other men are doing to them or other females are doing to them other women rather so there's this thing you would see when he or she has um, gotten a salary, then um, you start expecting like an allowance or you start expecting um, what is this um, like a certain percentage of the salary. Yes, you do deserve it. I did say here we talk about anything and everybody and we talk about money as well. I'm an advocate for money. Um, I love money. I love money. Um, so um, I cannot. Uh, I can't um, talk against money, but let's all be fair. What I'm for is fairness. You can't, there's, there's some people that, I don't want to say girls because I'll sound um, as if I'm anti-woman, whatever. But girls also do it. Um, whereby you ask for money on a certain day and then a week later also ask for a certain, like, a certain amount of money. Which is not fair for the person who's giving out the money. And But there also is a scenario whereby they also ask for something in return or the guy asks for cloth cloth like regularly but then you can't equate cloth cloth to the how much he's giving you right it can never be equal so what i'm basically saying is that be considerate of the next person's pocket and i'm not saying iravas iravas never you can't you cannot never girl you understand never guy out there like Never be selfish to a point where you don't care about what happens to the next person's salary when they're also considering you in the salary or in the budget, right? Two, I'm not um, going to talk against anything, but I'm going to talk for the ideas that I bring up on the table. One, um, another thing is that um, we tend to lose love because of money. Now, men... Um, if you love money and you entertain the givings of like, let's say for instance, you have a blesser, right? And then you entertain the blesser because the blesser gives you money, right? The minute the blesser goes boom, 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 boom and he or, he, or, he or she, blesser or blessy, um, doesn't have money anymore. And then you slowly turn your back on them and you go and look for somebody else. You hopping, basically money hopping from one to another. Careful of one thing, um, you may not want to hurt the next person's feelings or the previous person's feelings by what you're doing. Two, 
as I said, be considerate of the next person's emotions. Um, as much as I'm an advocate for money, listen, I love money. I love money and I'm not going to be apologetic about it. I don't expect you to be apologetic about it as well. But all I'm saying is that let's also appreciate the hard work that goes into it. Let's say, for instance, a crazy scenario that I can come up with on my toes is that if somebody once has given you, let's say, 5K, right, which is likely to happen, we, the money lovers on my channel, we just take the money and, you know, run. But... It's also good to run because you might not know what happens after. But also sometimes stay, like hang out, hang out. Like if the person gives you 5K and then they're like, oh, let's go for lunch or let's go for um, dinner at some sort of so when so when you can still sit there and enjoy the rest of the money. I mean, you know. But without further ado, like people can tend to get so stupid enough that... um. They don't think of or they don't see the what's behind the wall. They just want to know what's in front of them, acquaint themselves well with what it's, what's in front of them, and that's it. But when you can actually think about it and look at um, what's behind the wall, you can actually um, even gain more. What am I saying? Basically, I'm saying that um, if the person gives you 5K, as I was saying, right, and they offer you drinks or lunch right don't be a jerk or a fool and say no i have to go home or come up with stupid excuses like Jeremy, call me i want to leave don't be stupid stay milk the mask milk the milk the mask milk the the, the cow milk it until there's no milk right because by you doing so one, the person can see that you're not in a rush to go spend their money. It also doesn't give them second doubt about the fact that you were there for money. Be smart. Mission in silence. That's it. That's all I'm giving you. Mission in silence. Because if you do that, by you doing that, you actually, you know, have a cover. And I'm giving you tips. Now, with men, they tend to buy um, women with money. And if they, the minute they see if you that this one girl or this uh, one person, be it be girl or guy, um, loves money, they'll give you the money that you require, and they'll find their love somewhere else. Trust you, me, men can handle more than one relationship. So I'm not saying women can't, but they can, and you will not even find out in the in an instant moment because you will be so focused on money, 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 that this person will be building. A relationship on the side so, um a story that i can tell you that i know of is that of this guy now this guy i'm sorry guys this guy used to have a white husband they were married for a couple of years and this guy um was used to the groove life because the husband was working in durban and he had a, a boutique in i think abroad right so the guy would not be there, the white guy, um, guy, let's say guy one, guy two, guy one is the black guy, and the guy two is the white guy, right? So guy two would always be abroad, or running the boutiques in Durban, you understand? Not having the time to be at home. He would be like what, home like twice a week, or even three times, just because he's just close by the boutique in Durban, right? Now, what happened was, um, because... Guy two, sorry, guy two, guy one was so used to having groove parties and stuff at his whole house with guy one, guy one and two's house. So what happened was that this other time, uh, because business people, business men, business women, I don't know why we always call them business whatever's because no one can be a business, but we move. So this guy decided one of these days he's going to bring one of the hookups, guy to go one right he's gonna bring a hookup and obviously you know so friends would visit people that he didn't know would visit strangers would visit it would just be a blast so right one of these days um so this guy would give him money and he would question like who was here i know my friends blah 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 you understand obviously checking who's getting into his territory which is full he has a full right to right so this other time um then um i think the guy found out 
guy two found out that guy one is doing things behind his back maybe he had a cctv camera Miguel was not focused and Miguel was not missioning in silence what like two guys two girls whatever i know the story might be out of context but um always um be sure to mission in silence no matter you cannot bring somebody else in somebody else's house right it's wrong it's absurd it is inhuman you don't do it at all so um fine shop he found out and then he decided i'm gonna start a new relationship somewhere um convenient for me where he was always at now guy two had then decided okay fine i want to start a relationship gonna find somebody who's fine who accepts me for who i am loves me for who i am not what i can offer right um guy one guy one had a car he had all the money in the world um he just had this life whereby you wake up gasushu saying and you sleep you know having having drank in or having had like something like seven uh seven beyond or whatever king seven beyond get into it. those wines the expensive wines right or the seven blank right um so fine sharpo guy two decided to start a relationship in durban because it was always in durban at the boutique and fine sharp so um what had happened was that now that the relationship had been started and it was rolling for about months now after he found out that this guy is doing things behind his back one time he sent this new boyfriend which is now guy three to the main house to go deliver um something at the house now guy one was there and obviously he knocks this guy and he's like okay fine who's this and then he's like no 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 i'm so and so and so name i can't give names um then okay fine i'm here to deliver this and then he sits over by the couch and then this guy's like okay fine you just delivered whatever you had to deliver so do i need to pay you do I, you know rich talk no i'm waiting for guy two he said i must wait for him here okay no problem he waits only to find out that when guy two arrives they're kicking out the guy one because he's been told that this is the new boyfriend and he should move out ASAP. Mogai walked out with nothing. The car was taken. He didn't even study. Um, you understand? Like, it was just a mess. But, I'm, like, but the moral of the story uh, and what I'm trying to say is that be considerate of the next person's, you know, effort. To women out there, be considerate of me, the men, like what men do for you. Don't just take advantage of it because that's what they say. I don't even understand it, but from hearing it, it just touches home. Um, another point that I want to touch on is that um, as men, they do, like they, they, they do discuss as much as you and your friends think you're discussing other groups, right? The minute they see you, okay, if I lawyer's user or his peers are most user, then they take an advantage of you as well. You become the bigger pig. Sorry. You becoming the bigger pig, you will not like what they will do to you because they will play around. dribbling game. South Africa. Understand? Yeah, World Cup 2010. You don't want that, right? Because you want to always have the upper hand on and the, like, you know, play the first card. You understand? You want to always be there. So, all I'm saying is that men are wise, but they can be stupid at the same time. Be wary of the things that you do to them that might backfire. You might cheat. He might not say anything until he has got a relationship behind you. Fair? Not fair. So, um, some men cry beneath their eyes, like, beneath their eyes. <laughs> some men, um, cry within and trust you me having the best makeup from bobby brown or mac or i don't care sephora or whatever being bought the the makeup for by the guy and you think okay fine oh my gosh he loves me he buys me flowers every friday they're also crying at the same time they're hurting inside so be wary of what the, what you do to them and Men complain, man. And they don't just complain to you, they'll also complain to their mom. Or their family members. You might say, one might say, I'm a baby's mom. Give mama's baby. But 
Melanie and Jan, if you're fucking them up, they'll not let you know unless if they're, they're brave. Men are, I'm not saying necessarily they are cowards, but they are not um, vessels that would just, you know, tell you what's going on. But they'll just keep it inside and tell it to their persons, the people that they really put the, to their heart. Another thing is that my malis or pela, they disappear. You know why? Because they've got pride. They are the pride kings. You see? I go. So, um, yeah, like, do not find yourself in a mushy mesh situation where you can't even lift your leg out of it. All I'm saying is that on this Saturday, enjoy your life. Hambo puza bantu. Hambo yoba puza. Okay? Do not even for one second second guess what you're going to be doing this weekend. Tenga iwan upuza abantu. Uzlalala pukogu mube muse. Kayo go. Guys, guys can drink girls as well. Trust me, they all, all they need to do is just look nice. Sit there with a glass. How full is mine? Oh, was it cut out what? And the ladies will just keep popping. So from my side, guys, a mini advice that I just offered you guys. Um, take it, don't take it. This is my channel. And simple disclaimer, I own up to whatever I say. I am confident enough about whatever I say. And whoever wants to say anything, I'm not being pompous. I'm just giving out the best advice that I know of, that I can relate to, that I find relevant for you guys to um, also take home. So, um, mm, yep, don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification button, comment, and don't forget to be a blessing in someone's life and subscribe from me to you, the V Talk. Love you so much.